What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? My sanity. Your sanity? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh that's a little rip-off part. <laughs> I didn't realize that that just rips open. What's in the bag? Tonight, we're going to cry. Hello, my classics. It's Lana again. Welcome back. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below. Make that bell ring loud and proud so you know when I'm posting, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 Central Time. Today, we are going to be trying something that has been wreaking havoc on the internet for over a year now. This is the Hellpour cleanup mask. Now, most people will use this on their entire face and then scream mercilessly into your earbud filled ears as they peel it off. I am not going to do that to you today. I'm just going to use it exactly as directed, which is over the bridge of the nose. Now it's a little hard to understand what the instructions are saying because the original language, if you'll notice, is Korean. But there is a translated side that has ingredients lists, warnings, I thought I had a burp, and the how to use, which is the directions. For the directions, it says, after cleansing, use steam to well or sheet to open your pores and apply cleanup mask to your nose and around your nose. Then wait for 15 minutes. Slowly peel off from the ends and remove the sebum that melted out of the pore. The little piggy on the box has me a little freaked out because he's got this like butt chin going on here. But you can see with him that it's just over the bridge of the nose. I am going to wash my face and then we're going to get into this and try it out. So let's get scrubbing. All right, I have washed the majority of my face. Uh, if uh, you want me to try this like on the full face like a lot of people are doing, which I think is a little crazy, but okay, I'll do it. Oh, it's red inside. I would do so if you give it a like. All right, so here's the tube. The inside's literally red, like with an extra flap, which is like another box inside the box. Okay. <laughs> There's this fun little metal tab. Okay, it's not, they, they did at one point change their formula to where it's not the black mask that it used to be. It is instead this like thick, dark gray mask. Oh, that is very thick. Hmm, that does not smell like I've been imagining it. All right. And now I get to wait for 15 minutes. I won't bore you with me watching Teen Titans because I'm secretly always a kid. 15 minutes later. God, this is so tight. I can go see, oh my God. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, keep you zoomed in so you can see this. Gotta find a, a spot to start. That is so gross. The moment when you're standing there and you really don't think that you have that many blackheads on your nose, only to realize that apparently your nose looks like an inverted uh, kiwi. Okay, that wasn't... All right, let's be real. All right, I'm not going to hype this up for views. And I know that I only did my nose, but that was not that bad. I think once I got past the nostril, it really didn't feel bad. And like, it doesn't look bad either. Now, if enough people say, hey, yeah, do it, do it, do the whole face, I will come back with this and do my whole face. But I guarantee you that wasn't that bad. It's kind of the consistency once it's dry of like um, Walmart plastic bag, really cheap plastic bag. That's what it kind of feels like. And it didn't really hurt. I have watched so many of these videos and you see people literally 
screaming and scaring their kids and scaring their pets and crying and throwing a fit and I mean I'll admit when they get into their eyebrow and they rip off an eyebrow I can understand that pain as for me I just shave mine it's easier but just just the nose not so bad not so bad at all it didn't smell bad either it smelled floral but like real pretty like I thought they would smell like charcoal or something or like nothing or like chemicals but it wound up smelling very nice and floral and fresh and I gotta say that that is a huge positive. What I think is interesting is that there's a little, there's a little guy with butt crack. Can you see that? The little guy with the butt crack? So that's pretty cute. He's on here too, up here. And then there's the freak out guy down here. This, I kind of liked it. I think I'm gonna be using this a lot. I'm gonna use the whole thing. I got it on Amazon. I will include a link down below where I got it. And I'll be giving it a five star rating. Cause that did nice. I, my nose feels so soft. Mm. So if you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you want to see me do my whole face in that, give it a big thumbs up as well. But I also kind of consider this to be like a swatch testing. I know a swatch of the middle of my face, but still a swatch. I didn't have any reactions to it and I've got pretty sensitive skin when it comes to chemicals and reactions, but I didn't have anything like that. So you know, that's positive. I wouldn't say hypoallergenic, but I would say it at least passed my skin test and that's saying something. So yes, I'm mad. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below, make that bell ring loud and perhaps you know what I post because I post every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 12 central time. I see you love you always thinking of you. Have a really great day. Don't let anyone get you down. Don't let anyone do your sparkle. And remember, <laughs> do it with fashion or not at all. I'm going in the hole. I'll never stop. Hey, Ma.